Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Adam Bonington and I am a gender affirming surgeon in San Francisco, California. I want to take a moment to talk about something that comes up for a lot of our patients after vaginoplasty surgery, and that's granulation tissue. We see this in nearly 90% of our patients, so it's super common. Granulation tissue is basically a special type of scar tissue and pretty much is just an overgrowth of blood vessels. It kind of looks like little pink skin tags and it forms mostly along suture lines where two edges of tissue have been brought together. It's most common inside the vagina, but can also happen along the labial folds or around the clitoral hood. Granulation tissue isn't dangerous and doesn't hurt, but unfortunately it can bleed, especially with dilation or sexual play. But thankfully, there are treatments that can be done to help make the granulation tissue go away. In the office, we can apply silver nitrate to the area, and sometimes we need to repeat those treatments several times. This is also something that most gynecologists or primary care doctors who do pelvic exams should also be able to do. There are also steroid creams that can be prescribed to use with dilation or over-the-counter medi honey, which can also help, which is basically just medical grade honey. Sometimes we need to try all these treatments together and it can still take up to several weeks or months and in some cases even up to a year to make all the granulation tissue go away. In really rare cases with extreme amounts of granulation tissue, we will talk about a small surgical procedure to remove the granulation tissue. But most patients can avoid needing a surgery by doing other treatments that I've mentioned. Let us know if you have any other questions about granulation tissue and feel free to reach out to the clinic if you'd like to make an appointment.